Okay. So, is this on? One second, let me check. Of course it's on. All right, now it is. Good. <coughs> we hold in Kuta Aloha, Silchas Tina Aloha, hey, we are holding by Simon Vav. So, until now, what we said is that, that the film is the Zikoran wig. We learned the story, the beginning of the story of, this, of the, the seven beggars. And this story is based, this aloha is based on the first beggar, the blind beggar, that has the greatest memory of them all. Uh, we said about four elders, four sages that came up to the, uh, to the tower in the story, that each one had a memory so, you know, so primordial that one remembered the, the, when his, 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 his umbilical cord was cut, and one was remembered when he was in his mother's womb, and one remembered when, you know, even remember you know, when the, the, the body started to, to, to form, and one remembered when, when the, the drop was being taken to, to be planted, and then one remembered that it is, Tells you know, that, that's for. yeah, one remembered the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, drop being. the taste, you know, you know, the taste being before conceptual. Is it the for? The conceptual test before he came to the fruit, the conceptual uh, um, um, smell before it came to the fruit, the conceptual vision or, or, or form before it came into the fruit, and 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 uh, and he says that the the uh, which one is that? Yeah, well, he, he saying that the. Uh, that, that each and every one was going backwards and backwards and backwards, the third, the, the fourth, the bringing the, 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 the drop, and the fifth, that, that when, the, when the sages were inventing the, uh, the, the seed. And in other words, it was still in the brain of the father. And the sixth and the seventh and the eighth also remember the sight and the taste and the smell of the fruit conceptual before it came, before it came into the before it came into the fruit, you know, before it was <coughs> manifested in any in any fruit, and even in the in, in the drop itself, so that each one of them, each and, and then there is the blind beggar himself, and the blind beggar remembers all these stories, in other words, all these incidents, and he also remembers nothing. In other words, his memory is also beyond that. And 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 the uh, the smell and the sight and the and the look. And he's talking about nefesh, ruach, neshama. And the blind beggar is beyond that. He, he, he remembers nothing. He remembers that which is beyond beyond uh, uh, nefesh, ruach, neshama. And we say that this union of memory, this union of awareness, is. Uh, uh, the result of Kedusha because wherever the uh, you know when, in, by the Kedush there's no such thing as forgetfulness everything is evident, everything is present everything is in the now <coughs> Kedush Bochot is not past present or future everything is happening all the time the world exists the way it existed before, the way it exists now, and the world will exist after Mashiach will come. So the Mimela, the closer you are, to the, you know, the further you are from the Kedusha, the more the, the material, you know, blocks the total awareness. Now, the more you strip, you know, the material, cloaking of who you are and what you are. Mimele, you're aware of everything. You remember everything. 
So all these levels of, of memory, of remembrance, they signify levels of Kedusha which are higher above higher above higher. And we say that this this union of 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 and this blind beggar is the root of all <coughs> the kedusha of all the other zakini. And the um, the tefillin. It means it's a, it's a disassociation with gashmis. Gashmis is 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 a block. Is a stopper. Is a step down mechanism. That's the, it's a constrict. That's the reason why, when when a person leaves this world, he remembers absolutely everything that happened with him. It's because the body doesn't stop him anymore. Right, so this this is like parallel with what we learned before in terms of cleansing the madama and the maichim in terms of you disassociate yourself with things in the phys of a physical nature. Right? The principle is the same. The, or rather, the technique is the same. The technique is the same. But the 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 uh, <coughs> the, uh, the what we're talking about the, the the actual thing that we're talking about is very different. It's a different thing. It's a different thing altogether. The uh, um, so if you have the 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 cloud, the ikat film, and it says, and the film itself is an illumination of this this kind of awareness, or this kind of mochim, this kind of mentalities. That's what we say about tefillin, there will be for memory between your eyes. And this is dafka, the eyes. He says, because the less you look is on this world, the holier you get. Because this world is a gashmish, it traps you into... <laughs> You get into the game, you know. You watch the game, you get into the game. You don't watch the game, you're outside the game. This, this, this is what it is. This one is a game. You know, so what you do is, <clears throat> living in this world is, in a sense, it would, that which they called uh, uh, a suspension of d disbelief. You know, in order to, we said it a few times, in order to enjoy a story or a movie or whatever it is that you want, any form of entertainment, you have to suspend your disbelief, like, you know, this, uh, this Star Trek, you know, so in, in, the, in the galaxies. I mean, if you said, come on, that can't be, there's no technology you can do that, that's nonsense, how could it, boom, there's no story. You kill the whole thing. Right. So what you need to do is you need to suspend the disbelief. Uh. You know, let's you know, let's say that it's possible. All right. <coughs> Forget. I, I know it's impossible, but let's say for half an hour, an hour, an hour and a half, whatever it is, that it is possible. Then you're in the game. Same thing with a baseball game or basketball game. Let's say that it matters if they take a plastic ball and they put it through an iron hoop ring. It's leather. It's no longer leather. It used to be leather. Plastic? Yeah, today it's, it's well, synthetic. It Anyhow, it be that as it may, I don't care if it's made of gold. <laughs> Less cows. <laughs> you know, that it actually matters that you can throw the ball and, and not like this, you can jump and you can like put it down very forcefully. That's even more chashu. You know? And it's even more chashu if you can like take the, the ball and like throw it behind your back. It goes to another guy and he throws it up and it goes through the hole. That's worth billions of dollars, right? And and or when somebody throws a ball and you have a stick and you hit it and you hit it very far. Wow, this is like you know, it used to be uh, there was a comedian called Mel Brooks and they said he made a record in the sixties called Two Thousand Year Old Men. So they asked him what kind of professions he had over there. He says, Well, 
you had a you had a piece of wood and you run and you hit a tree. That was one profession. You know, and, and everybody laughed, it was so funny, blah 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 blah. What is Mickey Mantle? What is what is jolting Joe DiMaggio? <laughs> you know, running to a tree and touching it. <laughs> what is uh, 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 George Best, what is it? What is it? Just kicking a ball in a way that can, you know, okay, you hit into this into this gate, you hit it into this gate. Wow, this is incredible. I know, I know, I know. The whole thing is you need to have a, sus a suspension of disbelief. In other words, there has to be a certain agreement. Let's say that this matters. Once you agree to suspend the disbelief and accept the, 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 the let's say that, that it matters, you're in the game. Once you're in the game, the game itself has its art, has its force, has its beauty, has everything. You start believing it. <clears throat> the point is, it's a reality you can visit, and when the game is over, you know, you, you, not only this, but it, 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 it becomes an escape. You know, everybody who doesn't have a life, you know, instead of beating his wife, can go up and beat the fans of the other team. <laughs> you know? <laughs> or both. Or both. <laughs> no, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is that this entire world is suspension of disbelief. Like, let's say that this is important. And the, the, the truth of the matter is the thing that makes it so complicated <coughs> is that this world is important. It's important vis-a-vis -vis that it brings you to the world to come. That's what money is. Money is, it's a piece of paper that sucks, men say it's worth this. So we just spend that disbelief that it's just a piece of paper. And now it's, it's so no, no the dollars. point the point is that the Dafka the point of money is more fashion. Anything I mean money for itself is nothing. But the point is that money represents money represents <laughs> very, very lofty in Yan because what money is, money is um, portable value. Which is a great concept. Now the point is that, that when you when 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 you are greedy for that in itself, it brings you down. This is like the source of all devil desire in the world. But in itself, it comes from a very very lofty place that the Kaddish Baruch has put value in this world. You know, has has imbued this world with value. And money is one of the Africa, the purest forms of, of of value being transported, being mobile. That's why there's so much halachas in Masal Matan, <coughs> and how Rosen uh, goes in Chas Masal Matan in great length. Why is it so important? Because the thing is that money can never change hands without affecting. Uh, spiritual value. Either it's muscle mutton, that's fair, you got something, you paid for it, or you gave it to someone, or you stole it from someone. Or someone stole it from you. Or so, I'm, saying, I'm not saying you or him, whatever, it's the same no, thing. It doesn't go down. The only, the, only, the only place, the only place that there is about, about money where it is, that it escapes this kind of, of moral, but when it doesn't involve anybody else's das, like Metzir. But even then, if there's a simon, there's no simon, there's, you know, how many, whatever, because money is is value stripped of, of, of Levushim, practically. I mean, it, there's nothing, it's, as you said, just a piece of paper that would say that this is what it is. And therefore, it's a very, very, very lofty Bechim, very lofty Indian. That's why you have to be so very careful. That to say that the the the, the first the 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 the
Kavata in the Torah, the second was Nasata and Nasata Be'emuna, right? The second one is, did you deal fairly in business? <coughs> it's right next to it. Not whether you had money. Not whether you had money. When a, when a person leaves this world and he comes to the Beit Mishal Malik, he comes to the supernal court. So the first thing they ask is, is did you set aside time to learn Torah every day? That's the first thing they asked him. The second thing that was asked is, did you deal fairly in business? They didn't ask, they won't ask you if you made enough money to buy Chelsea Football Club. They're going to ask you whether you dealt fairly. Why is that the second question? Because this is the, the greatest sign of a person in this world. Because you can see it, and Nelson writes in the Kutta Lachas that <coughs> you notice the second Brach of Shmonesra is a very uh, interesting uh, combination of Mechayim Meisim, reviver, you know, resurrecting the dead, Mechalkel Chayim Bechesed, you know, the, the one that sustains life with Chesed, Mechayim Meisim Berachamim Rabbi. You see? This, this kind of, you know, twiddle down and twiddle dee of, of, of resurrecting the dead and feeding the living. So Nosa says, what's, what's the shaykhs between the two? You notice in the second brother, it's a few times they come together, these two, to stand them. Uh, the reason is because <coughs> money is a need, sustenance is, is a need, a constant need on a daily basis. Before, a person needs once in a, I don't know what. Everything else a person needs, and, and, but sustenance is something a person needs every single day. And that's why the Ikaramuna is dafka in money. Do you believe or you don't believe? He says, it says, whatever it is that you do business, you should remember that when you're going to stand up from your grave, Baches <coughs> That's the thing that you're going to be judged on. But it's not just for now, okay, let me just get it now, let me just plug up the hole and I'll be fine and the heck with everything else. And then you forget about it because tomorrow you need something else. Right? Because tomorrow you have, to have another bill. So what you did yesterday to pay the bill of yesterday is already forgotten. Today you have to do another Schwindlerei in order to, 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 uh, to send it off today. And tomorrow is a different thing altogether. But the point is that every single thing that you do, you know, for your pernasa, it's not you know, you're going to give din v'cheshven, but oylem abo. You know, b'frat, b'yom adin, ha'god l'van, ha'yom Money is a constant daily messiah. Everything else is sometimes yes, sometimes not. A once in a blue moon. Money is every day. So Vimele, that's the most important thing you need to put your mind on. You know, how are you getting your pranasa? And you have to remember because it, it <laughs> if you don't remember you're gonna be reminded of it. It's 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 it ain't going away. Just because you don't remember what happened yesterday, doesn't mean yesterday doesn't doesn't exist anymore. So it says like this, Siman Vav, Ki Ikira Tefillah Mit Natsas Nusamech Ima Panim. The essence of the film is when the mentalities enter the head and actually shines out, Siman Vav, actually shines in the face. Shu Pchinas Oyer Upon Him, that's the light of the face, Shen Nimshoch, Pchinas Tikkun Adik Nekadisha. That's the light, Oyer Upon Him, that's the life of, of the presence of Hashem that comes from the Tikkun Adikne Kadisha, as it is says in Kisvarizal. That's the rectification of the holy beard, that's the, the Tikkunim of the level of the Kesa. So, Ika Hadraspanim The beard is the glory of the face, as one is known. This is. That's the, 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 the thing that signifies the beard, the, 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 the aging Shebekedusha. 
ותיקון הדיקנו, and the notification of the beard, and בחינה של עשרה מידה של רחמים, this is the thirteen traits of רחמים that we say, השם השם כרחום וחנון, ערך הפיים, רב חסד ואמת, this is the core, and the main, the main, the main, do me a favor, can you please just close the door? The main principle behind the mission of Rachamim, the Ikaw Pchinas Kvishas Kaas Lamti Kadim Lachor Rav. The main principle behind the 13 traits of Rachamim is the holding back of the anger, the wrath of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, with, 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 and the wrath and anger and the deen of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. שם שם כן רחום וחנון, ערך אפיים ורב חץ, באמת מצריך חסד לאלפים. You know, you care to the first, you're carrying the chesed, you're carrying the oven, you're holding it back, you're not running. I remember that, that Reb Sikha Balei once told me, what does it mean, the noise oven? It was said from the 30 meters, what is noise oven? כן רחום וחנון, נושא אבון בפשע, that he carries, a sin and crime. What does it mean that he carries a sin and crime? What does he do with it? What does he carry it? What does it hang on the wall? I don't know. What does it mean is he carries it? <coughs> so he says it like this. That when a person does something he should not do, first of all, the Sitra Akhra incites him to do it. Sam, he tells him, I like to hear. <laughs> 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 I mean, who do you believe? Me or your own eyes? Your own lion eyes? I mean, it's like... <laughs> well, so, I get the impression of Sammy. You must know him well. I do, unfortunately. He lives in my house. What's the, what's the connection between the 13 uh, meters of Rahman and the Zakan? There are 13, there are 13, 13 tikkunin, a certain rectification of the call of the zakan, which is the... <coughs> it's a whole Torah. It's a whole Torah. I'd rather not go into it because I don't know it. I know certain things about it, and the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to confuse you, I'm going to mislead you, and everybody who's watching this video. You put the kids that you saw, I can follow the thread here. Like... The... the <coughs> When we said that that the the ten sefirot is divided, you know when they when they are rectified, when when before the the, the shattering of the vessel, of the, of the vessels, you had ten sefirot, you had ten simple sefirot. They're all receivers of the light that come from above. Okay. Now, once they shattered, they reformed, they regrouped. The same, sorry, the same ten. They regrouped into five groups. And these are the five groups that are in the form of a family, of the perfectly functional family. So you have the grandfather, you have the father, and you have the mother, you have the son, and you have the daughter. And the son and the daughter eventually grow up to become the man and the wife, the chokhmah and the bina, that you know, and go go weiter, and the 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 development, the involvement of the second phase, and these five are called partzufim. They're called persona, supernal persona. So you have the highest one, which was Fiesa Kesa, the, the the crown to begin with, which is a part of Olimus Ensof. It's called Ari Khanpi. It's called long face. Long face like a face with a long beard. Or long face. It has, it has actually also another part which is higher. It's called the Tika Kadisha. It's called the, 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 the sacred ancient, which is the high part of, of this. all kinds of head that the all kinds of levels in the union of, of the grandfather. And then you have the second one is the Chochmah, is the father. The Bina is the mother. And then you have the six Sefirot from Chesed, the Yesod. 
It's called Zera and Pino, Small Face. That's the boy. And all the six boys is the color. And and you have the, the last one is the Malchus, that's the that's the girl. That's the future mother. Nukma. The Nuk, the Nukma, that's the, 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 the female. Now in between them, in between these these five members of the supernal family, that interrelations. There's interrelationships like there is in any family. In fact, if somebody learns Kabbalah and has in his in his house the kind of relationship that there is between the uh, the the different the different Pansufi, it has the perfect children, perfect family, one hundred percent. Now the union of grandfather grandfather is usually somebody who has seen everything, right? He's not rushed to judge. You know, when when, when you when when a person is young and he sees somebody else's kid goes a little bit astray and and that person's own children are still very, very small. Look at that, look at that. What does these children say about him, huh? 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 And then that person should grow up themselves. And suddenly the joke is not that funny anymore. <coughs> right? Because now he's the butt of the same jokes. You know, it's easy to laugh at somebody else when your children are so small, you know, they can't even move by themselves. But then they grow up, you know, and then they have their own, you know, little light show, or whatever you want to call it. But the point is, you grow older, you grow older, and the, you know, the edges are softer. You know, the, 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 when the heart gets broken so many times, sometimes it stretches as it mends. A lot of things that when you're young, you know, they, they seem to be so yaharik about the other, you know, if, if it's not, whoa, man, forget about it. Hey, you grow older, it's a... It's a it's, this is this is the 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 because so the old age is is synonymous with mercy. When you're young, you're you know hot blooded, hot whipper snapper. If you get old, you're an old geezer. It's okay. <laughs> okay. So the middle of the persona of 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 the zokin, of the elder, of the of the old man, of the senior citizen, as you say, is one which basically is euphemistic for rachamim, for mercy, for pardon. Now, we, we, the 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 way that we call we call zokin, you know, somebody who is an old man, who has this attribute. Is called Afkal Shem the beard, right? Zakan, Zaken, the same, the same letters. So when we saying that 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 uh, um, a flow of the attribute of old age, of mercy of old age, is Kaviyochal the flow of the beard. It's like it's like an old man, as you can see by the beard, by the white beard, you can tell it is an old man. Which means he's somebody that that effuses rachamim and pardon and, and, and grace and, and forgiveness. <clears throat> but there are thirteen ways of forgiveness. These are called euphemistically, or poetically, or whichever way you want to call it. They are called the thirteen rectification of the beard. And these are and this is the. You know, and this is when Moshe Rabbeinu was able to elicit the greatest influx of pardon and forgiveness from the Kodesh Baruch to Am Yisrael. Kodesh Baruch you know, Am Yisrael was deserving of being chas Khalila. You know what? <coughs> so Moshe Rabbeinu was able to elicit this tremendous influx of Rachamim. So the 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 mishalim, the the parables, the images, the allegories, the the term, the midrashim use, the Gemara uses about this specific incident in which this influx of forgi forgiveness came into the world, is it said he saw him like an elder that is wearing a talis lavan, a white talis, 
and 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 yeah, this is the Saba. This is the Kesa. This is the uh, and this is you know thirteen. And he said before we said this beside Moshe Rabbeinu, you know, he said to Moshe Rabbeinu, these thirteen words that they all denote rachamim, forgiveness. And uh, absolution. It says, Hashem, Hashem, Kel Rachom Rechanun, Erech Apai Brachet Lemet. So it says, one of the things it said in the middle, it says, Noisa Ova, the carrier of sin and crime. So what does it mean, a carrier of sin and crime? What, what was it carried from, or where did it carry it to? So it says, when Sammy comes to a person, and, and actually, you know, gets him to do something that he shouldn't be doing, then Sammy runs to Kodesh Baruch Hu and says, well, guess what? Guess what? I, 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 I got him to do it. And, and the koyach, the, what comes after Kodesh Baruch Hu is the deed itself. And it becomes a malach. You know, we are what we are. We're an angel machine. We get raw energy, and according to the quality of our decisions, it's the kind of, <coughs> you know, of of, of uh, uh, being that we create. And uh, so it goes back to Kaddish Baruch Hu. This, the very Avera goes to Kaddish Baruch Hu, and he says, that guy, he, he created, he made me. Now, you made him, you created him, he is your son. He is your child. Which means it's a living being that now needs sustenance. Everything, whenever there is a connection of any sort of goof and neshama, of body and soul, it doesn't matter whether the body is a physical body like ours, or it's a physical or is a spiritual body like Malachim. It doesn't matter. You took the name of Hashem, which is the highest, and you put it together with the principle of the Isser, of the Aver, whatever it is. Now it's, now it's a living thing. A living thing to, to, to connect these two together, they have to be sustained, they have to get food. You know, spiritual food or physical food, it doesn't matter. And it, the Zerah Kodesh says, Man de Yaev Chaya, Yaev Nezayne. Whoever it is that gives life has to give food, has to sustain. Okay, so once that Aver goes to Kodesh Baruch and snitches on you, uh, then he wants to come back to you and gets to get food, you know? You created me, I'm a father, it's supposed to feed me. Ah, you don't have what to feed me, so I'll take from your own food. What do you kids do if there's not enough food in the house, but there's food on your plate? They take from you, there's no problem. I mean, the spiritual children are no different. You know, and this is the thing that brings illness and in, Hashem in Yirachem, all kinds of Imglik, the other person. So when the very concept Kaddish Baruch Kaddish Baruch says, okay, stay with me now. You stay here. You stay here with me. And he feeds the Avera from the Kedusha. It has to be fed. He feeds the Kedusha. You know, this is like, this is like, this is like, uh, uh, the, the, the Baal Shem Tov feeding Eichmann. Except it's worse. It's like... And he keeps on now. When a person does, when a person does, does something should be Kedusha, he's davening, or he's eating, or whatever, he's doing something should be Kedusha, then the Kodesh Baruch Hu, and the Kodesh Baruch Hu sees that the person is in a situation, in a state that he can rectify it. So it's, he sends that aver back to the person. Now it's a malach, right? A malach is a machshava. It's the, 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 the body of a malach is, is a thought. And the thought of the severe comes to a person's mind in the middle of davening, in the middle of learning, in the middle of whatever he's doing. Now if a person is foolish enough, you know, to recreate the scene of the crime, you know, to re-enjoy the whole thing all over again. No, no. You know, then, but if a person is smart at that time, all he needs to do is just disregard it. That's all you need to do. And that rectifies it. 
because we, they said that there's something called tshuva samishko, which, is, which means that when the tshuva is equal to the avera. And they said that tshuva samishko is all the oisa mokom, oisa isha, the same place and the same woman. But how can you be the same place and the same woman? Shem Yerachim, you can fall all over, all over again. He says, no, when it, when, when it comes in, but the machshava, with the same place, with the same woman, then, and you don't do it, you don't visit it, you don't indulge, you let it go and you continue, this gives the tikkun to everything that needs to be. So this is, the, so the 13, these are the 13 tikkun edikno, the, the 13 rectification of the beard. That why 13 and why beard? Mm-hmm. Is it Zakein and Y13? Which is said about Y Zakein. The Gimel is Zerachim. What? Y13. Yeah. Because the Gimel is Zerachim. There's also nine Tikkunim. Uh, yeah, there's nine Tikkunim, and there's a thirteen Tikkunim. Let's not get into it because I don't know what the heck I'm talking about when I'm talking about these things. Even here, I'm going on the limb. So okay. let's. Uh, the main thing that we will we will we will we'll, we'll read what is what is what is said over here. The main thing is to, to cover up the, to hold down the anger and to sweeten the, the, the verdict and, and the wrath. This is Hashem who is patient. This is the guiding principle of all the 13 meters. That the minute that the Kodesh Bohu exposed the 13 traits of Rachamim to him, and quickly Moshe Rabbeinu bowed down and, and to the ground. He says, Moro, what did he see? What did Moshe see that he bowed down so quickly? Er Chapayim, he saw that trait of Er Chapayim, the patience. Et Hashem Shem Kirai, Kol Shlash Resrimides. Moshe Rabbeinu saw. <laughs> the main principle, the, the root of all the 13 meters, which is El Chapayim, patience. <clears throat> meters, because the main, the main principle of the, uh, the 13 meters of Rachamim, which is the 13 rectification of the beard that Kodesh Bochum revealed to him then, the main thing is patience, El Chapayim, long face, you know, like. Long beard. That's all it says. What is it? Anger, the, euf- the euphemism for anger is kutzer af, a short nose. <coughs> we want to say, we euphemistically, we want to say that the Kajbocha was angry, is all the oshon ba'apoy, that the smoke came up his nose. The 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 af is is the anger of the of the of the of the of, of the nose. And Dafka the nose because we said that the nose is the summary of the face. That's why they said that, 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 that halachically, when a person drowns and we have to recognize him, you know, in order to be mother his wife to get married, this is the main feature that he's recognized by is the nose. If the nose is still there, we can recognize him. Mm-hmm. The af is the unit of the ponent. And so, and, and so, then, then is the main patience that we have to be able to do the main patience that we have to be able to do. That's the holding down of the anger. But can you slay Moshe the Amida Zodaika? Moshe Ben was extremely excited about this particular Amida Dafka. Zabbeinu said many, many times the most important feature, the most important Amida, the most important trait that a person should 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 work on is you know, of patience because that's that's the the the, the first result of emuna. Patience is a very very bad trait. Any which way. Ayen shem kolei the other stuff should 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 read over the simon kufnun hey. This is a, a fantastic way to serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And if you will look in this verse, you look deeply into it, you will be able to receive from their fantastic advice. And this is a good thing. You'll get chizot that you cannot believe into Avodah Hashem. 
And he says, about Klal Shodom Tzich Lizdah Vagmuto Asher Kodesh Baruch Hu, the main principle is a person should emulate Hashem in Hashem, Hashem's Midas, Hashem's traits. Kamua Vidvirei Rabotei Nozal B'chol HaSfarim, as Chazal said in all Sfarim. Ba'al Ken Tzorich Liros Shelo Midas Arich HaSapayim. That's why a person needs to see to it that he should have that trait of Arich HaSapayim, or called long face, in other words, patience. That a person should be patient. I'll call no one will look us, will look at us, should no one. A person should be angry. I shouldn't be particular and, 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 and picky <coughs> on anything. Will I stack us, should be near the bill of our doss, and a person should not look at any kind of interference, any kind of, 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 of confusion or, or, or discombobulation in the way of the Hashem. Just Whatever happens, it's okay. The hand menias, you know, things that are barriers that are blocking your way. The bilbulim and confusions, the kuvim and delays, the surim and 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 suffering. Sheish lo mivnei olam that all the people in the world are giving to him. Kigor meoviv like from his father, mechotno his father-in-law, the ishtoi and his wife, the kroivav and his relatives, or mishav ne olam or from all the other people in the world. As we can see it eye to eye, that every single time. Scotty, do you hear this? Do you hear what we're saying here? Every single time that any person wants to get in the way of Hashem, like Dav Bekavon or whatever it is, the Kaitsev is that Yeshno immediately he has obstacles and he has arguments and he has <coughs> Sounds familiar? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes these obstacles are already there. Yeah, that is, but they're, they're there and they, the minute you get, you touch a Kedusha, boom, it explodes it's all over again. All the time. It, it keeps coming over. The minute, the minute you touch the Kedusha, it raises up. Every single person has to, every person has to be like, you know, as, as, as resolute as a tiger. וגיבור קארי, and mighty as a lion, לאסוס רצון אביו שבשמיים, to do the deed of his father in heaven, לסגר בקר נגד כל המניעים, to overcome all the obstacles, ולעבור עליהם, to overcome them, לבלי להסתק עליהם כלל, not, just don't even look at them. You know, it's one of the things that, that you know, they say the story about, uh, one of the jokes they said about Herschel Astapolo, uh, when I was a kid, anything funny they said about Esau Estopolo. I mean, okay. Esau Estopolo was a very holy yid. He was the 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 gabai of the uh, Reboch of Mezhibosh. He was a he was a funny guy. Uh, Reboch of Mezhibosh was was a somber person, and he had he had with him this gabai that was <laughs> you know was really putting him in simcha and everything. So uh, they 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 they. So when I was a kid, like today they have Yanke Miller, you know, in America, everything said, you know, Yanke Miller goes, because a Batchen, so this Yanke Miller went to this and he said, all the jokes they put on him, you know. When I was a kid, they put on Eshles Topolo, he was the one that, uh, he was the Batchen and everything put, put on him. This Charlie Chaplin of the, uh, of the Yiddish Welt. So they said that uh, he came to a place, he came to a place and he was hungry. And he goes, oh, I'm hungry. Oh man, I am so hungry. I can't believe how hungry I am. I'm so hungry. So the woman from, from the place, she just couldn't take it anymore. So she gave him some food. So he ate it and then he says, oh, was I hungry. I was so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people go through all kinds of troubles in life, whatever it is. He says, I can't believe what trouble I have. Once you're over it, oh, you can't believe what I had. They, they, they're still living with it. They said, the Ibn says, don't look at it when it happens, just do what you need to do technically to overcome it. Much less after don't, it. Don't, 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 don't remain tethered to it. Just go ahead. Don't get tethered to, oh, I can't remember, you can't believe what happened to me. You can't believe what, I can't believe it. I never, I never I, I, women are especially, you know, known to tell you that, about specific in Yonim that you can't believe what happened and this, this, and that. It's a, it's a Indian. That's a 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, said that, listen, it, 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 it gives you the, 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 the mentality and awareness, you know, the size of a walnut. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's, that, that's what it does to you. I mean, it's a, what can you do with a walnut? I mean, the Mohind the Katnut is a constructive consciousness. It says, Vikayesh is Yerim Nius Rabbis Bli Shi'ur. Everybody has to be, each, every person has to be as resolute as a lion, and, 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 and bold as a lion, and, and, and mighty as a, as a lion. So to do the will of his Father in heaven. To overcome all the obstacles, and to pass them. Not to look at them at all. And the person needs to strengthen himself very, very much. Shall I do what is yours? To what? Lasok betoyro betfilo, be osik betfilo and osik betoyro be kavono be bekoyach. You know, as learn Torah bekoyach and daven bekoyach. Zeh pchinas arich asapayim. That's true patience. Levalia kotzeru achas v'shalom. I can't. I can't. I'm, 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 I'm overloaded. I don't have any bandwidth anymore. I'm losing bandwidth. I'm, forget about it. Yeah, I, I gotta go. I, whoa, whoa! Don't talk to me. Whoa, 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 whoa! Patience. Don't be impatient. Don't stop your avoid the chasvashon. You know all these menias and all these isurim that the person get. You know to keep you away from avoid the Hashem, because this is the averse coming back to distract you. Yeah, when, when you let them stop you from avoiding Hashem. The Yisurim mm-hmm. says, any Yisurim below of it. There's no suffering without sin. Which means the sin is suffering, you know, is suffering is sins, sins revisited. You know, and records are sent to you. And they only have one mission. To keep you away from avoiding Hashem. And what you need to do is Look vital. Don't stop. That you have to strengthen yourself. Be arich apa el kol dova and and be patient for everything. Let it go. Let it slide. Velo istakel shum benia klal. Don't look at any benia bechlal. No obstacles. Vechena filo bil bulam sheyesh lo meatzmoi. Even the confusion that you have from yourself. You know, the strange and, and wicked thoughts are chasing you at all times. And especially when you're davening. You have a tremendous yisurim from them. Patience. Patience. And this is a, 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 a result in a poor yaitza of emunah. How you zoich at erich sapaim? It's remuna. You believe that whatever is going on with you, because Baruch knows exactly what is going on, and it's only there so that you can continue doing what you need to be doing. That's it. The only shelly emuna is Baruch should have complete emuna Kodesh Baruch and you have a in the in the real the real koshiyin is chadik and strengthening your avoda v'loipol mishum dava. Don't let anything bring you down. Just don't 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 give a hoot. You know. You know it's like it's like somebody once said. You know what's what's the common name between me and a dead owl? We don't give two hoots, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 don't give a hoot. Don't give a hoot. <laughs> 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 Don't give a hoot. Don't look at it, Bechlav. Don't just, you don't care. It's, that's nothing. And, 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 and you don't get exasperated and frustrated from any, anything. That the Baldova puts in your mind all kinds of confusions. And like, oh, I can't believe this happened again. Oh, man. Don't let it just 
Let it slide. Kilo of a stick for Chasmira, like that's it, there's no more hope. It's finished, that's it. I don't have Parnassa, I don't have this, I don't have that, I cannot pay my rent, I cannot pay a luxury bill. That's it, the world is over. The world is finished. It's never going to happen, he's never going to give me nothing. Is, it's finished, it's finished. Don't, uh, don't worry about it. Because of the bad deeds and the blemishes that the person has blushed until now. This is the reason why it is all happening. What you need to do is not to look at it at all. Rabbeinu said it a few times. As we spoke about it many, many times over, how much a person needs to strengthen himself. There's no despair in the world whatsoever. There's no point that, okay, this, okay, that's too much. That that is too much. There's no despair in the world, which is, there's no, there's no situation which is beyond redemption. You know, I've I've sinned so much, I've blamed myself so much that that for me there's no hope. No there's, such thing. There's no such thing as no hope. I mean, it's not. We're not talking about whether there is a whether. I think it's a simple answer. The rabbi he went up and he went down and he did his side. There's no such thing as no hope. There's no such thing as beyond. You know, from beyond down. Everybody has a rectification. <laughs> So whenever you find yourself, you can find yourself, especially when a person did what is something that he needed not to do, and he feels that that's it, you know, I'm, I'm toast. It's demon that's wrong. And he says, and he says, I'm toast, that's it. I mean, you might as well stick a fork in me, I'm done. You know, that's it. He says, no, there's no such thing. There's no such thing as, as Yehush. There's no such thing as that, ah, Rabbi Shlom Shik told me many, many years ago. It wasn't told me specifically me. It was a whole group of people. He said there was there was a Talmud that was 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 I don't know, twenty years ago. There's a Talmud, the, a Bochum that came close to Breslev. So they took him to the Rebbe of that Hasidus where the father belongs, and the Rebbe should talk talk to him. You know, like you know, save him from a fate worse than death. Breslev. So, so, so he, the, the, the Rebbe asked him, you know, what do you do? You know, so he says, what do you do when you make his business? So he says, uh, he says, uh, I talk to Hashem. So this Rebbe made fun of him. He says, and, and he answers you? So the Rebbe asked the Rebbe, does he answer you? Yeah. So the Rebbe says, he's already, he's gone. lost. He's gone. You know, he's, he's, he's <laughs> gone. <laughs> Vanquished, that's it, he's finished. He's finished, you know, it's like a... Hashem Yerachem, no, be makatrik, whatever it is, what's that? Does he answer you? Without Rebbeinu, without Rebbeinu, you don't even know, because Boko answers you or not. You believe that somebody, that somebody who was born on a mountain top, you know, as borrow, you know, it's like how the F of F dollars, you know, like like the the the, the, the Dalai Lama, Dalai Kacha, yeah. you know, the, 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 the he was born already, whatever it is, and it's it's like he's already pre, you know, pre-programmed to be a tzaddik, and 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 he blah, which the only thing it does, the only thing it does is basically it frees you from any responsibility. Of coming close to Hashem, you know, you don't need to do that. I used to say that that that, that in the Molek, the Indian for Molek is that is they said that Vizan of Becha Nechsholi Macharecha that he you know that he he he's 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 running after you like a hyena, you know, he's biting off the the heels of the lion. Vizan of Becha the Zam Shal Zonov, you know, the tail, you know, is nipping at the tail. It says and the Medrash says Vizan of Becha. He says a very strange thing. That he cuts foreskins and he throws them up and he says, Take that which is yours. And you go like, Come again? Huh? What is this? <laughs> First of all, what kind of a profession is this? <laughs> Basketball, what is this? <laughs> 
the second thing, the, the thing of mechatech olas, cutting ola, you know, the mishichas ola, you know, putting the ola on is tuma. Cutting of the ola is kedusha. The, the Zerah Kodesh says, Mani Katsadik, who is called Tzadik? Man denotil brisa, right? The one who is keeping the bris, the one who is cutting off the orla. What is a Malik doing cutting off orlas? Supposedly that's the Malach of the Tzadik, right? And secondly, what does it mean he's throwing it up? What is, it, what is this? What is this? What kind of game is this? It says, the Eden of a Malik is the Eden of coldness in Yiddishkeit. That chilled you on the way. One of the tricks that Amalek, 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 Amalek has many fruit tricks, many religious tricks. One, you know, famous one is Madaf Zoychazan. You ever heard that before? I said, you can trust Hashem. Yeah, but you have to be, you have to merit, you have to be Zoycha, right? Yeah, that's, you know, like, and that's a from your own, and it's like a, you're not good enough. Okay, <laughs> you know, you're not from it. It's, it's like, you have, to, you have to have the schuss for that. It's not just the, the Kodesh Baruch, like, the Kodesh Baruch, as if a Kodesh Baruch is like a bear, like he's looking for you. It's only if you're 100% without any, then maybe, maybe, maybe. But don't we see that in your mid to be here when you wait, wait, let's, let's, let me just finish what I'm saying here. You're confusing me. Let me just, uh, just finish this. And, and in the Molech, there is the in of Amunas Tzadikim. A Molech gets in there. And what a Molech does is it takes the Tzadik, who's Mechat Acholas, and he throws him up, and he says, he belongs to Kodesh Baruch to him, a Kaddish Baruch listens. Him, yeah. Me? <laughs> you want to compare me to him? You know who he is. You know who his father was. You know he grew up in his house, you know, with his eyes closed. And what are you talking about? He's talking about his, his father was, 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 married, was wearing a beckature with strokers, and his mother was wearing a beckature with strokers, and his sisters were wearing a beckature with strokers. The cats in the basement. We had strokers and beckages and strimals and this. This strimal. Everybody, you know, the, the maid was cleaning with a strimal. <laughs> you know, we're talking about it. You want to compare me to him? Which means the rabbi is the one who's supposed to do a Hashem. In the meantime, you can just be a bum. You come to the rabbi, you throw, you know, pull piastas, you pour, you know, some money on the table, let him take care of it, you know. You call them in the room, put Gaboy, oh, it's important, whatever it is. You're going to put it through all the money, you can go outside, you can do whatever it is you want. This is a Molek. Take his, he's a tzaddik. 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 Take his, he's a tz